Hello, I'm Robin Worley. Welcome to Lenscraft. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about a problem that seems to have occurred in the Nick collection fairly recently and seems to be annoying a few people, myself included. Here we can see an image and in a moment I'm going to edit this using Nick Viveza and then I'm going to use the brush tool which is down here in the Nick selective panel and I'm going to use that to try to paint my adjustments back into the image. So let's start Viveza and what we'll do, we'll add some adjustments to this image. So we'll lighten it with the curve and we'll add a control point here and we'll use that now to select the sky and we'll warm the sky up quite considerably, add some saturation in and we'll duplicate that control point and move it down here onto the sea as well. And we'll also add the global saturation and a little bit of contrast. OK, now what I'm going to do rather than click OK is I'm going to click the brush option here. Now that puts me back into Photoshop and it activates the tools section of the panel below here. Now what I should be able to do is click paint and paint in the adjustments I've just made. If you notice over here in the layers window, you've got the new layer, which is the Nick adjustment. And you've also got a mask here that's been filled with black. That means when we paint on that now with white paint, we should be able to reveal the image that we've adjusted. So let's paint on now and we'll try and paint in the sky. And you can see I'm starting to paint. That's good. And as soon as I release the mouse, I get this message. And again, when I click OK, you get the message again for the second time. So it says you're in the selective editing mode. Well, I know that. Click discard or apply or return to Photoshop's functionality. Well, I don't. I want to add some more adjustments because I don't apply everything in one go. And as soon as I release the mouse, we have the problem again. So that's actually no good. So I'm just going to discard that. Now this time, let's add another Viveza adjustment. Same again. So we'll lighten this. We'll add some overall saturation. We'll add some warmth now into the sky. And we'll this time we'll click OK to accept that as a new layer. Right, so we've got the layer. So what can we do about it to fix this problem? Because I've not been able to actually find any settings that can prevent that message from popping up. Well, one option, if you're using Photoshop, is we can actually create a action in Photoshop. So here we've got the actions window now. And I've already set up a Nick Actions folder. And what I'm now going to do is record an action to create a paintbrush tool. And I'm now going to record a new action here. So we'll create a new action. We'll call it paint. And I'm actually going to register it against the F2 key and I'll add the shift button. So when I press shift F2, it will run that action. And now I'm going to record it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new layer mask to this new layer that I've created. So add the layer mask and we now need to invert this to create a black layer mask just as the Nick tools did earlier. So if I press Control I on my Windows keyboard that now inverts the layer mask and you should have noticed that the layer is now hidden by that mask. Next I can click the paintbrush tool. I can select white as a colour and that means I can now paint onto the black mask with a white brush and I'm going to set the opacity to something around 20 because that's a useful adjustment level uh, for this sort of tool normally. And now I can press to stop the recording. Now let's delete this layer mask and I'll show you how what I've done 
just works. So if I use the paint option here and I run it, immediately we've got a black mask, I've got the paint tool selected, and now I can paint over the sky or anywhere else to create the adjustment and allow it to show through. So again, we can paint in some adjustment on the waves here. And I've created effectively the same as the brush tool or the paint tool that you've got in the toolbox in the Nick Selective panel. If you want to know how to create the Erase option, all you would do is record deleting the layer mask and adding a new layer mask and inverting it. So let's do it just so you can see. If we record a new action and we call this one Erase, and I can select F3 this time and Shift, and we'll record that. We'll select the mask, we delete it, we confirm we want to delete it, we then add a new mask and Control i to invert it. And I can stop the recording there. So if I now paint on this, so you can see here that there's lots of painting going on on the mask and you can see it reflected here. If I want to erase it, I press Shift F3 and it's erased. So that's how you can create the same tools as you have here, but as actions in Photoshop. Hope you found that useful. Keep tuned for more ideas in the near future. Thank you.